bed um, so I can wash these sheets and clean my room up. Um, what else am I doing today, y'all? I also have to run to Walmart and pick up a few things from Walmart. Then I'm gonna come back. Hubby's gonna be cooking out on the grill today. And yeah, just chilling, y'all. But I wanted to pull the camera out and do a little bit of vlogging. So y'all, today is Saturday, um, July 25th. And this month is flying by. It is so freaking crazy that this month is almost over with. I just, I can't believe it. It's almost over, y'all. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Nothing, nothing much. Just, I would definitely want to get the house together. It's been a while since I've done like um a, a really good deep cleaning. So I want to do that. Um, just like get around the baseboards and dust a little bit and wipe down my blinds, things of that nature. So I can just chill out tomorrow. Normally I do those things on a Sunday, but I'm, I'm going to do it today so I can chill. And that's it y'all. I may sit on the deck for a little bit, have a drink, and just chill out. So that's all I'm doing. But I wanted to pull the camera out and um and talk to y'all. So y'all, I'm gonna run this stuff downstairs and get it started in the washer. And then I'm gonna head out um to go to Walmart. Anyway, y'all, I don't need much from Walmart, just some soda water, um, strawberries and blueberries. I'm gonna get some chicken. And that's it. Then I'm gonna come back and just chill out for the rest of the day. I may even um, clean my carpets, so we shall see. But I'll holla at y'all in a bit. detergent that we use on our clothes and this stuff is amazing y'all this is the Tide Simple with Oxy it smells so freaking good and we used to use Gain no. babe why we stop using Gain why we stop using Gain yeah he was like the Tide smells better it does the Tide smells a lot better than Gain um, we were using the Tide in the red bottle but then we just recently switched to this one. Whew, it smells so good, y'all. And this one is actually a little cheaper than the red bottle. Have you noticed that? This one is like way cheaper, y'all. So here's what it looks like. So this is what we use now. And then I also use this Oxy um, stain removal that looks like this. I'll normally use this like on my clothes whenever I get like makeup stains on my clothes or whatever kind of stain for that matter. I'll use this. This one is my favorite. So yeah, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and um so yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and get this laundry started so I can get out of here, get going, because it's gonna be so hot today. So hot. It's hot already? Okay. Y'all, oh my gosh, I'm about to head out here now, y'all. I'm just warming up my coffee. Hubby went to um, Wawa's this morning and got us some coffee, but I came back on to tell y'all that OMG, yesterday, my freaking car, not yesterday, Thursday, my freaking car broke down, y'all. Oh my gosh, I was on the interstate. I'm gonna tell y'all the rest when I get in the car. Hold on. Y'all, I need to find Hubby to make sure I'm not locking him out. Hold on. This is the back of the house. Hey, babe. I'm not locking you out, am I? Is this door open? He's gonna be working out here, y'all, so he set the tent up. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, so let me tell you what freaking happened to your girl. So I'm um, on the interstate Thursday morning. It was probably around 6.30 um, because on Thursdays, shoot, on Thursdays, y'all, hold on. Okay, y'all, so Thursday morning, I'm on my way to work, and I noticed that, um, no, that's not what I want to say. So Thursday morning, I jump on the highway on my way to work. And as soon as I got on the highway, my temperature. So y'all, as soon as I hop on the highway, I instantly noticed that my temperature gauge is climbing up, right? And I was
was like, oh my gosh. Like it was going up to the red, y'all, and I had never seen it do that before. Now, backstory. A week before all of this happened, um, my car ran hot, which it had never ran hot before. So hubby, I took it home and hubby just put some antifreeze in there and it was good to go. So I thought, you know, I thought it was okay. We thought it was okay. And mind y'all, I had just had the car inspected and they didn't say anything about, you know, any type of leaks or anything like that. So I was like, what the crap is going on? So y'all back to Thursday, get on the highway. The car is running freaking hot and it just started to go off. Like the car just started to go off. It was like beep, 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 beep. And the, um, the red thing came on, like the red thing on the dash to indicate that your car is hot. That came on and it was, I was so scared. So I didn't know what to do. Y'all, I didn't know what the freak to do. That was my first time ever breaking down alone, like by myself in a car. And I was scared. I was so scared. The only thing that kept me calm was the fact that I was on the phone with my dad. I was on the phone with my dad and he was just like, calm down and just pull over. Like, you know, what else could I do? He was like, calm down, it's okay. Go ahead and pull over and turn the car off. I was petrified. I was so scared to get out of the car because the big trucks were coming and I've seen so many um I've seen so many incidents where people are hit on the highway. Y'all, I was scared. I didn't know what. So I was like, let me I told my dad, I said, hold on, let me call Dennis. So I had called Dennis and I'm on the phone with Dennis, on the phone with my dad. Dennis was like, I'm on my way. By that time, a state trooper had pulled up and yeah, a state trooper had pulled up and he was helping me out. And y'all, I was scared. Oh my gosh. I will never, ever, 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 ever want to break down on the interstate again. But y'all, the story does not end there. So the car is out of commission. Dennis finally makes it to me and he calls um, a tow truck to come and get the car. And in the meantime, he's like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take you to work. Mind you, I have to go to work because I have to get payroll done. And there's nobody else at my job that can get the payroll done for me. So I I had to go to work, imperative. So y'all, when Dennis got there, I hung up with my dad. Um, Dennis called the tow truck and he, he talked to the tow truck guy and told the tow truck guy that he was gonna leave the car, I mean the car, the key in the vehicle, and the tow truck guy told us that we can just go ahead and go, and he'll be there shortly. So I got in the car with Dennis, he took me to work, and I guess about an hour later, I called Dennis to see what was going on because we were gonna have the car towed to Firestone. And if y'all don't know what Firestone is, Firestone is a place that repairs cars. And that's what we always take our vehicles to. So we got the car towed to Firestone. Well, we thought the car was getting towed to Firestone, but apparently not. So y'all, the tow truck guy called Dennis about 45 minutes later and he was like, man, the car's not out there. Dennis was like, what? He was like, yeah. Uh, the car is not there. We was like, what the hell? So I kind of got nervous because we had left the key. We had left the key in the car. But I was like, I know that someone, they couldn't have um, pulled up and just drove off with the freaking car because the shit is running hot. And they're not gonna get far, is what I was thinking in my head. So the tow truck guy was like, well, call the state trooper because he was like, more than likely, they done towed the freaking car. I was like, unbelievable. Sure enough, Dennis called the state troopers and they had towed the freaking car. I was like, what the hell? Cause here in the state of Virginia, if you break down on the interstate, they give you at least, they'll put like a little sticker on your car and give you like 24 hours to get your car towed. And plus when the trooper pulled up, he had um, he had radioed his other little trooper friends to let them know that I, it was a disabled vehicle. What, what, I'm going this way, shit. And when the, um, I'm sorry y'all, this man just done pissed me off. I got my blinker on and he fucking, shit. Y'all, I'm at Walmart, hold on. I'm gonna finish telling y'all the story. But I got super freaking distracted really quick. 
let me turn into this parking lot. All right, so. All right, let me finish telling y'all this story real quick. So anyway, um, damn, what did I even stop? Oh my God. Y'all, my mind is just like all over the place. What did I stop? Anyway, okay, so the tow truck guy came, called Dennis, was like, the car's not out there. Dennis calls the state troopers or whatever to see. And come to find out, these assholes had done towed our freaking car. And I was like, oh, they done towed the car and our tow truck people were on the way. I was like, why would the state troopers tow our freaking car? When I told the guy that we had called someone and they were gonna come pick up the vehicle. And we asked the tow truck guy, we were like, do we need to stay here with the vehicle? And he was like, no, especially since the trooper pulled up, you shouldn't have to stay there with the vehicle, especially if they know that I'm on the way. Y'all, another, I, apparently another state trooper probably came and got the car towed away. I'm not even sure. So then we had to figure out where the freak they towed my freaking car to. I was nervous because my car key was inside of the freaking car. And I could not, I couldn't concentrate at work. Like, well, I had to concentrate at work because I'm dealing with people's money. So I didn't have any other choice but to concentrate. But I was really thinking about that crap. And so Dennis had to take off from work Friday to get it all situated. It just put us in like, it was just like, seriously? So he had to take off from work to get it together, to get everything situated. I couldn't take off because um, I had to go in to close payroll on that Friday, so I couldn't take off. But it just really put us in a freaking terrible space. And I was pissed off the whole Thursday and Friday. And I try not to be mad for too long. I just go, I prayed about it. I was like, Lord, fix this thing. I said, because I am pissed off right now. Like, why am, why did they tow our freaking car? So Friday, we had to pay $170 to get our freaking car from wherever they took it to. I was just, oh, y'all, I was so livid. But I was like, you know what, Jesus? Thank God that we have the funds to even get our car or whatever. And we have great insurance. And so our insurance told us to file a claim so we can get our money back from what we had to pay for the state trooper towing our freaking car when they knew that our tow, um, tow truck guy was on the way. I was pissed. But I was like, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. So y'all, we filed a claim and our insurance company people told us that more than likely we'll get our money back. They've been through situations like this before and that's what our insurance is for and they will reimburse us. So I'm happy about that. And I was like, you know, even if we don't get the entire 170 back, if we can get a portion of our freaking money back. So what we had to do, so Dennis took off Friday. So he went to wherever they told the car to, paid the 170. Then we had to call, well, he had to call our insurance company a freaking again to get the car towed to Firestone. So today is Saturday and currently the car is at Firestone so they can look at it and determine what's wrong with it. So we can go from there. Now y'all, my car I've had for some years. Like my car is old, right? And up until now, she, you know, she's been doing great. You know, she's been doing pretty good. But I do recognize the fact that it is an older car. And I may just have to get something else depending on how much the repairs will be. Because I don't know if I want to keep on, like I don't have a car payment. But I don't know if I want to keep on throwing money into this car. Because we have put a lot of money into my car, into this car as well. And the reason why we do so is because we don't have car payments. But I'm just like, you know, do I want to keep on like throwing money into my car when I can go to any car lot, y'all, and get any car? I can drive off the lot with a car today if I really wanted to. Um, because yeah, that's just that's how my credit is set up, okay? So yeah, I can do that if I want to, but I don't know if I wanna I haven't had a car payment in years, y'all. And I don't know. Like, I'm like, do I want a car payment? But I don't want to be um, spending a whole lot of money either getting this car repaired. So we're weighing our options. We're trying to see what it is that we want to do. So, yeah. I might be sharing with y'all that I have a new car. 
very, very soon, depending on what Firestone says. So, I don't know, y'all. I just wanted to share that with y'all because it just really put me in, like, um, a fucked up mood. And, excuse my French, but I was. I was pissed off on Friday. I got over it, though, because I don't stay mad for too long. I had to pray about it. But I was in a fucked up mood on Friday. I was. And I, I didn't feel like being bothered. I was just angry. And I hate to be that way. I don't like to get like that, y'all. But I was. I was just hot. And Hubby was like, it's okay. He was mad too, though. Shit. He was mad too. He was like, I'm pissed off too because he missed the whole damn day of work. I mean, he got paid for it or whatever. But that's not the point. We, he don't want to be using his vacation time to deal with something stupid like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, we be trying to save our vacation time for other things, you know? So, yeah, y'all, that is what happened. Um, yeah. So, that's what happened Friday. That's how my Friday went. I was so upset. But, anyway, y'all, I have my little list. Y'all know how I do. This book right here was given to me by a co-worker, and I absolutely love it, y'all. It's like a journal. And in here, I keep everything, y'all. I keep a list of um, low-carb keto stuff that I want to pick up from different places. I do my grocery list in here. Um, I did a little entry in here on yesterday when I was feeling down because of my car and so I was kind of writing in here and um you know when whatever comes to mind like YouTube stuff I'll write in this book like if I can think of some videos that I want to do so I won't forget um yeah my daily devotions I usually write down in this book and just just all kind of things I keep in this book y'all so this always um stays with me no matter where I go so anyway, I'm going to run into Walmart. I'll, I'll probably take y'all in there. Let's see. I guess I can put y'all. I guess I can take y'all. I'll take y'all in. So let's go. So here goes our soda water. I'm definitely going to get hubby an orange cream, which is here. And as you can see, these are $2.50 a piece. So I'm going to get him an orange cream. Um, we've been loving the strawberry not strawberry but wild cherry i'm gonna get a wild cherry Let's see orange cream wild cherry um hmm i wonder what the peach tastes like y'all i don't think hubby will like the peach too much should i get a black cherry or cherry i'm gonna get a cherry limeade this is really good <laughs> cherry limeade I want to get one more, y'all. Should I get peach or should I get strawberry? Um, or black cherry? I don't know. Mm, let me think. I saw someone do a concoction with the ice drinks and heavy whipping cream. And it looked so delicious. They were saying that it tastes so good. So I want to try that. Only thing is, I only see like this ice and that ice. The rest are, I guess, sold out. So this one right here is in peach nectarine and the other one is in pink grapefruit. And I don't like any of those flavors. So I think I'm gonna get the clear American that looks like this. And this is a dupe for the ice and it's a lot cheaper. It's like pay off the price. So I'm gonna try the cherry lemonade. I don't know about that huckleberry y'all. And strawberry banana. I think I'm gonna only get two. Well then they have pineapple orange too. So I think I'm gonna get a cherry lemonade, probably two cherry lemonades, two strawberry bananas, and two pineapple orange. Cause hubby may like this as well. And then I'm gonna get the heavy whipping cream and try that, cause that may taste so good. So y'all, here's what I have so far. The um, Clear American dupes for the ice drinks, blueberry, strawberries, cheese, two cucumbers, spinach, shredded cheese, and then my um, soda water down at the bottom. And here's my little list. So the only thing I need to get now is um, some oil, coffee, heavy whipping cream, eggs, and then these three things right here from Food Line. So, yep.
I'm not gonna do um a haul because I pretty much showed y'all um in the store what I was picking up. Like this door down. Yeah, I pretty much showed y'all. So and it's normally the same things that we buy almost like every two weeks. From Food Line. I mean not Food Line, y'all Walmart. Now Y'all know I've been loving that bread from Aldi. I've been loving it. But you have to go on Aldi at a certain time because that stuff sells out like so quickly, y'all, because it's zero net carbs. And you can't beat that. So I went on and got the 647 bread. Now, Hubby does not care for the um, no carb bread from Aldi. He does not like it because he don't care for um, wheat bread. So he wanted me to pick up the 647. So I was gonna get this anyway because um, Aldi is out of the other bread. So I did get the 647. I have the loaf bread, the hot dog buns, and then the ham hamburger buns. And this bread was like $3. Um, probably around the same price as the one from Aldi. It's like $3.99 per package. So I did get that y'all. And again, I showed y'all everything else. Um. See, I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but I ended up getting two things of whipped cream because I have been craving whipped cream and berries for some reason. Like, I've been craving it so bad. Y'all know I usually buy my clone bag bars. And whipped cream is low in carbs, y'all. So I decided to get this whipped cream instead of the ice cream this time around. Oh, y'all, and I did get this too, y'all. This is the Lily's Chocolate Chips. And y'all know that Lily's is low in um, carbs as well. So you can have 26 chips for one gram of net carbs. And that's it y'all, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I did pick up some chicken. Like who don't pick up this chicken every time they go right, to walk? So that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiping this stuff down, get it all put away. And yeah, oh, and wait a minute though. I didn't um, show y'all which one I ended up getting between the peach and the strawberry. Which one do y'all think I got? Y'all will take a wild guess. Comment down below. But look, I got the peach. <laughs> so I was like, since I have wild cherry, let me try the peach. And I think this peach will taste good in a mixed drinky drink. So I got the peach one, y'all. But anyway, let me wipe this stuff down, put it away, and I will holler at y'all a little later. I love this egg tray. I got this from Dollar General and it holds um, a little over a dozen eggs, but I love this tray. So let me ask y'all this, Miracle Whip or Dukes? Y'all, I love Miracle Whip. I don't even know why hubby brought the Dukes, but I love Miracle Whip <laughs> and this thing is still full. I think he likes the Miracle Whip as well. Let me know which one y'all like the best, that or that. So y'all, that's how I have all of my drinks lined up down below. I have my regular water. Back there is a Coca-Cola that hubby uses for his drinky drinks. And then I have my soda water all lined up. Y'all, look how big these cucumbers are. They are huge. Can y'all see this? Huge. And they were only 62 cents. And from Walmart, I found this cream right here. They didn't have any, um, coffee mates all gone like this walmart that's the only thing this is the walmart where i told you guys one time before that their cream selection is trash but i did not feel like going to another store there's a food line right across from that walmart i did not feel like it today y'all did not feel like it um so the only thing that they had available was the um great value cream and i've never brought the great value cream so hopefully we like it okay but i got hubby the hazelnut and then they did have sugar free they had sugar free vanilla french vanilla and i'm not too crazy about their french vanilla so y'all hubby just came back from Publix, and i'm gonna show y'all what he picked up oh so ooh, italian three cheese hmm okay so look y'all Italian so three respond. cheese. Let me put the camera down. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, because I ain't know if you, um, uh, put some water in there. Want to put the chicken on that in the sink? Yeah. All right. I was like, I wonder if you want to cook the chicken. But then, 
for y'all. He doesn't normally um, grill out during the week. I mean, on the weekend. And we won't have to worry about preparing dinner Look, during the week. Is it okay if I get a sausage? I might Can save, I have one? I might save you one. Y'all, I be turning them sausages up. I will be saving him none. I I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, damn. Let the me fuck? show y'all. These ones, oh my God, I be tearing them up, y'all. They taste so freaking good. Screenshot that junk. Y'all, they taste so good. He smoked these on the grill. I be tearing them up. Breakfast, lunch, and whenever. I'm like, yo, I went in there to get one. I'm like, where the fuck? I'm like, all them bitches gone. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It was like one piece of, of steak left in there. Like, God damn. It's so good. You gonna do the salmon cakes today too? So y'all, he got salad dressing. This is a creamy cheese by Wishbone. Oh, you already got those. What? That's okay. And I'm glad you got that though, because how about Walmart didn't have any more um, coffee made or international delights. Look. So I mean, we can never have enough cream. Hands off. Touch. No. Hands off. Red wine vinegar wet. I hands off nothing. I'm gonna eat some of that. Hands off. Thousand Island. I don't like Thousand Island, but here. Um, chunky blue cheese. Here. Five. You how much? Three to five. Three to five. Yeah, That's I was not bad. Five shit, and I don't even need it. And then ranch. I mean, we have enough salad dressing, but we be, we do salads almost um every day, every single day. So I mean, you know. This is good. So I can definitely do the uh, the Caesar and the blue cheese. I haven't had blue cheese in a long time. So I was just buying this shit because it was three for five. Yeah, that's not bad. So we have um, salad dressing already in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna put these yeah, ones. Yeah, a lot of them is almost done though. Yeah, that um, thousand island is almost done. I'm gonna put these ones in the pantry. Cranberries with the uh, the, cr the cranberries with the uh, the nuts. Caesar. Oh, really? The Caesar it's dressing. Good. It, it it like it offset the, the, the bitterness in the in the Caesar. Uh huh. That's your good as fuck. I wonder about blue cheese. Show him that meat real quick, Dennis. He y'all. Okay, so these Dennis, are these he, are actually kind of thin. Yeah, those are not the ones you these normally thin, get. But they, they were sold out, so okay. I got these. So y'all, he gets all of the meats from Publix. So that's pork chops with the bone in. Is that the bone in, in it? Yeah. And then this is a top sirloin steak. Green, that's green wise. Green wise. Y'all, Publix, their meats are the expensive. Shit. It, 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 it's expensive. They're expensive, but, but like, they the shit. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get the quality. The quality is definitely there. It's not dog food. <laughs> it's not dog. Yeah, I mean you're gonna get the quality of a public, so I mean that's the truth. Um, mmm, he got some lamb chops, y'all. Lamb chops. Yeah, and those are almost sold out too. And look how good the meat looks. I mean, it looks amazing. Another lamb chop. Look at that. Meat looks really good. Y'all, these hamburger patties right here, if y'all need to get up on this. Man, Look at this, right here. Sick. They are everything, they do not shrink. Yeah, they shrink a little bit. Oh, just a little, but not a lot. Not a lot. They will fill up a hamburger bun. That's for sure. Nice and thick. Like, they are not exaggerating from this picture. That's just how they look. And oh my God, when he put these on the grill, 
y'all. Yeah, it ain't the orange box. Yeah, that orange box. Like, I don't know if y'all know about the orange box. Mm-mm. That shit's a fucking trash. Yeah, don't do that. That shit is dog food. Then it is. <laughs> it is. It's dog food. It ain't beef. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Yeah, it's definitely not beef. I don't know what it is. Is, uh, so two boxes of the hamburger hamburger patties uh, what else okay so the sweet baby raised buffalo wing wing sauce this stuff is bomb like can y'all see it there you go everything this is so freaking good and it's low on carbs and there's no sugar y'all so i rock with this that's so good um the sweet baby raised hickory and brown sugar um, and of course this is loaded with sugar and carbs, but you know, I go ever so lightly on this and he'll probably use that for some of the chicken because when we do our chicken, y'all, we use like several sauces. Like we'll do some with the honey mustard and my favorite is the Parmesan garlic. I love this one the best. And then we also have the spicy garlic. And so these ones came from Walmart. And they are from, um, you know, the BW3 brand, Buffalo Wild Wings. So these are really, really good. But in my opinion, I like the great value, um, I like the great value Parmesan garlic better. This one is really, really good. So we have these wing sauces. And y'all, once he's done with like all of the food, I'll show y'all what it looks like. He picked up some more bacon bits. I actually um, got him some bacon bits from Walmart, but you can never have enough. Some more bacon bits. I wanna make me a, um, probably that broccoli, like a broccoli casserole with cheese and bacon bits. That'll be good. I might do, I'm gonna do that today. You want me to leave this wing sauce out? What wing sauce? Right here. Yeah. I couldn't find the teriyaki. This shit was sold out. Really? You want to leave one? Uh oh, you got one in the freezer. All right, right y'all. So I'm gonna sweep this floor, and I'm gonna head upstairs so I can fold this laundry, make my bed up, and then I will holler at y'all. Uh, I'm actually so tired. I'm tired, but I need to get up and finish cleaning, y'all. I need to make my bed. I'm still waiting for my comforter to dry, so that's in the dryer. Then I'm going to make my bed. I'm going to vacuum this floor i've already um cleaned the mirrors i dust off my bed already and my dressers i cleaned the bathroom what else do i need to do i think that's it y'all that is pretty much it oh i need to dust um my window seals and i need to dust the tv off and then i'm done in the bedroom um so yeah but i'm tired i'm exhausted y'all i've been like running and cleaning since I woke up this morning and I got up super early. I woke up about maybe at 4.30 this morning. And so I've been going ever since then, y'all. So I'm tired. Darn, I got something on my pants. But yeah, y'all, I've been going since like early this morning. So I'm tired. I think after this, I'm going to um, take a shower and kind of lay it down because I'm tired. And I'm gonna show y'all the food though that hubby is out there making. And it smells so good, y'all. That food smells so good. We have not had anything to eat like all day. I'm drinking, well I had coffee this morning, y'all know that, I had coffee this morning. And I'm drinking this um, green tea that I brewed. And I actually brewed this about three days ago and I let it sit in the refrigerator. And then I added some water to it and a little bit of my erythritol and it is delicious. So I've been drinking on this since I finished my coffee. And this is, um, this bottle is 52 fluid ounces y'all of green tea and it tastes amazing so i try to do at least one green tea a day and this green tea is caffeine free y'all so i'm not overloading myself with caffeine okay i don't need to be bouncing around this house because i already have enough energy <laughs> so 
yeah y'all i'm drinking this green tea which is 52 ounces and then once i'm done with this i'm going to drink i have a water bottle downstairs so y'all know this is the mini may zero sugar bottle and i just save it for my water and my green tea and yeah so that's just what i do y'all so i'm going to drink this first and then i drink my water and with my water i just add a little bit of in water enhancer to it and i can just fly through this so usually during the week i try to drink at least two of these y'all to try to get my water intake in because i noticed that on the weekend when i'm at home like chilling i don't drink my water like i supposed to i'm really really good during the week you know with drinking water but not so much like on the weekend so i'm trying to get better with that so yeah y'all but oh my bed is so comfortable mm, it's so comfortable i don't feel like getting up i'm tired <laughs> 